Um, I'm going to shoot this one up top. I'm going to guess that misses. That does. Shoot again. That's got to hit. That. Look. Come on. <laughs> Why are you not highlighting? Oh, because I'm on the range find. That would be why. Uh, that does hit. Okay. Let's... Oh, I keep hitting that damn button. Go away. Doo -doo. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Eleven. Coming. So I got two more shots. Same one. Twenty-four. Holy shit. For six damage. One more shot. Twenty-five. Holy shit. How's that not a crit? <laughs> Oh, I was one away from a crit. Uh, that does seven. She dead? Poor bastard just got <laughs> three consecutive arrows just... <laughs> and suddenly became a flying porcupine. Playing the part of a porcupine today will be a... Herpy. Har harpy number herpy? one. <laughs> no, not herpy. Harpy. No, he said herpy. He did say herpy. We're not doing herpes, Tony. <laughs> And that will end my turn. I'm fine where I am. Oh, oh no, you know what? Hold on. Nope. I'm going to put the Bardic. Oh, inspiration. Ornan, Ornan sends the uh, idea to Zyra that touching the Harpies results in sores on your mouth. <laughs> sores on your what? Mouth. Around the <laughs> corners of your lips. All right, I'm going to put Bardic Inspiration on, let's see. I'm immune to disease, so I don't think it affects me. Um. Oops. I'll put on Recalo. Okay, so Recalo, okay. a tune is played for you and you alone. I pull out my fiddle and I play a tune for you. I'm going to have like, a, I'm going to play a different tune for each of you I at know, this why point. Are you at this point, you guys know I play a tune, and each of you have your own specific tune, so you know it's you I put it on. So, Ricalo, I'm playing your tune. <laughs> okay. So when you when you play Bardic Inspiration for me, I know it's... When you're strange, people <laughs> come out in the rain. <laughs> when you're strange, when you're strange. Anyway, hi, how are you? My name is I'm doing all right. I'm just playing this weird game. I don't even remember what it's called. I mean, the guy who's in charge is a real asshole. I mean, uh... That happens. It, I mean, you know. It's a somebody's thing. gotta be in charge, and somebody's gotta be the asshole. Might as well be the same guy. Right. Except I think that's all right. bad. I don't, know. I don't know why I keep showing my hand. I'm not doing anything! Um, I'm wearing pants, really. Uh, let's see, that was Zyra's turn. 1092. Uh, <clears throat> remind me on what the effective range on the rock thing is, because I want to, knowing that these things are flying, I want to kind of put up a weird... Like, we uh, went over this for like two yeah, hours. I know, and I, I don't know where my notes went. I took notes on this. You put it on sticky notes, you gidget. Yes, <laughs> Oh, I saved the sticky note. Obviously not. I don't know what happened to it. I'm sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> I apologize. I, was dry. I took notes. I don't know where they went. I was like, yay, I'm good. I took notes. I did a smart, and now they're not there. So, in other words, in other words, he lost the weapon. I didn't lose the weapon. I have the weapon. <laughs> I just no, don't have weird. what the, I don't have the uh what what's the word I'm looking uh, the well, instruction I manual I I don't <laughs> have the uh, specifics on the shape uh, the shape rock or the uh the earth how come you don't have the notes for your real weapon and yet I still have the notes for Wittgenstein's continuous arrow because Wittgenstein's continuous oh. arrow is a cool spell okay that we so. And a lot of times choosing an area of terrain no larger than 40 feet wide on a side with rain within the range of 
120 feet, which we knocked down to 30 to 60 feet. So you can throw it 60 feet in front of you. Mm -hmm. You can dig a 40 foot square, create a pillar up to 20 feet high, raise or lower the square's elevation by 20 feet, dig a trench up to 20 feet deep, and so on. It takes 10 minutes for these changes to complete. Now, we had changed it. Uh, we lowered it from 40 feet to 20 feet because it's instantaneous instead of 10 minutes. All right. So, we were thinking of creating, uh, trying to put some sort of somewhat of a tent shape over the horse. Well, we lowered the, well, you'd have to the horse in length is 25 feet plus the cart. And you'd have to do a basically a, a 15 by 20 Mm -hmm. And you don't have that ability in one fell swoop. Okay. Well, I think he's just going for the horse specifically. You can do a wall on this side, and then on the next turn, do a wall on this no, side. No, I can only use it once per day, so. Right. Well, yeah. So, you know, you can do a wall on one side of the horse if you wanted to. Or you can dig a trench that is 20 feet by five nope never mind all right um i'm just gonna run up and bash this person or 20 mm -hmm. foot square wait went from trying to do a really complex defensive maneuver to protect things to i'm gonna run up and smash <laughs> so who are you running up and smashing i'm gonna run up hit this person and i'm gonna use the fire ability move your token And this is fire attack, right? Yes. Okay, that's a hit. And, um... So, eight bludgeoning damage. Too many tools! Eight bludgeoning damage. <laughs> and two fire, because and I affected the fire roof. Eight, okay, so ten total. Yep. And you have another attack. And I'm gonna swing the nor uh bring it back around and swing with the normal mall. Oh, that's, that's the, it. That's the wind. Uh, ignore the knockback. Right. For thirteen. Very nice. Oakley, Oakley, do that's your turn. Yep. Move and action. The Harpy. Give someone really bad sores. Around their mouth. And their no-no spot. <laughs> their no-no spot. Watch out, Ricalo. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, I'm immune to disease, motherfucker. <laughs> or no spots whatsoever, because her bees is very quiet sometimes. Doesn't show up at all. Until you get the yeah. yeah. Ricalo, do something. you have herpes? Wow. <laughs> he drinks a lot, but nobody ever said that he, like, you know, lived in a brothel. Right. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. No, that was Dane. <laughs> I'll have to, uh... Hey. Don't talk about where Dane's mother was, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, Just because he was raised in one doesn't mean he partook in the clientele. Wait, you went to a hotel and had the pleasantries. Do not... Your mother was raised in a brothel. He's Hi. not wrong. <laughs> that would be his answer. Hi, and... How do you know me, Mom? Um... I barely well. know Um, so...
Oh, da, 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 da. Harpy number this one. I remember is this one. To... <laughs> Carlo, why are you missing hell? I didn't realize that didn't was. Didn't reset so. it. He's really bad at keeping his token up to date. All right, so claw and club multi attack. Um, wait, they're armed with clubs on the horse. Oh no, they're attacking the horse. Shit. Shit. Not Howard, you idiot. Howard, what? Are you looking for I... the statistics for a horse? I fragged up and, 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 yeah, so, okay. <sighs> and I feel like this so, harpy is about to get a hoof to the face. Rolling for attack. That's going to be plus <sighs> that Jesus. and that. So, two attacks. Both missed. Yay. And the horse is not going to be happy. This one is actually going to go after Grandia. Hit your armor class. So far, Tony's prediction was correct. His initiatives were high, but his rolls are going to be low. Seventeen. Now that you said that. Yeah, I know. Multi attack. There it is. Two eighteens. Neither of them hit. Nope, because your AC is now like 20. And now Victor. I set this up as an easy encounter. Cool. I want to get you guys into the next area. The city with no name. So I set this up as a fairly easy encounter. I have a lot of talking to do in the city of no name. Barely. Oh, they're going to the Dwarven City next? Yes. Yeah, Dane's leaving there now. <laughs> we really do need to do a one shot with uh, uh, Dane and his group of the multi dwarf one shot. Yeah, well, just in case we it will, yeah, like, just in case we're not I able to play, we just need to do that game. That is actually that is actually something I wanted to talk about really quickly after game today, but uh, I forgot. I do to have an idea for a really cool character. In that sort of setting, but I don't know what the name requires and stuff like that, and what he would be looking for. That's again, um, I was gonna talk about it after game. If John doesn't have time, then what we'll do is I'll talk about it with John over the week on Facebook or whatever, um, just through chat when we can, and then next week when we play, um, before the game, we'll talk about, um, what is required? And remember that just because you're a dwarf doesn't mean you have to be a tank. There's dwarves, there's clerics, there's there's sorcerers. Um, there's a everything. Dwarves can be every class. Animals. But anyway, back yeah, to one of my favorite things about D &D. What are you animals. What are you conjuring? What kind of freaking token do I have to look up now? I'm honestly, I'm <laughs> tempted to assign <laughs> each of you. A dwarf, and I'm I'm, te I'm 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 tempted to uh, assign each of you a class, and you can choose whatever dwarf subrace you like, but your class, and then you can pick whatever subclass you want. But I, I'm tempted to assign each of you a class completely different than what you used to play. Um, that would be okay. That's, That's not be wizard for me. That's kind of hard to figure out why I haven't played. Yeah. Well, what I'm saying is, unlike what you play in this campaign. So, I run a dwarf cleric with the space pirates one. Um, yeah, Ricardo, yeah, you'd, you'd be a dwarven monk. That's the class I haven't run yet. I play a chaotic and chaos neutral dude and just go around and do whatever. I'd probably have, I'd probably have Grandius playing some kind of warlock. 1092, 1090, 1092 would be playing. Uh, I don't know, I'll come up with something. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll go into it uh, another time. But uh, 
for right for right now. Give me two seconds to get this freaking thing uploaded. Victor, I feel like every time you do this, Tony just dies a little bit inside. <laughs> oh, no. Ten, you, just, you just need to have a whole slew do you, of animal Do you tokens. have access to the Sword Coast Guide? The what? The Sword Coast Guide. Uh, I could I, try. It's not hard. I should. I why? What about it? Should be among all my um. I I Tony, I think it would be entertaining to have 1092 play a berserker dwarf barbarian. That would be great. <laughs> Dane, so we're going after Medusa. I'm in. Even better, a berserker. Yep. Do I attack yeah. with Stein? Yeah. Please tell me I attack with Stein. Well, no, a beer zerker specifically does not uh, is crap in battle unless drunk. So he's always drunk. Wait a minute. So, so you're, 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 you're a beer zerker technically is a barbarian, but he's even drunk. Um, you're yeah, you basically you're only uh your barbarian abilities only work when you're drunk and here's the thing battle can sober up a person so instead of quaffing potions <laughs> i need a beer but they don't heal you nope they just make it so that you can rage again all right so what he needs to do is lose an eye become scottish and have a sword and a shield and we do and call it good. Well, and be Irish. Well, uh, it'd be Scottish. Uh, but we'll look in. We'll look into that more later. For now, we are currently in a campaign. Yes, I I have to work on this. Do you want me to roll initiative for them, or should I wait? Um, oh right, wait until you have the token, and then I can highlight it. Right. Um, how many do you conjure? Just two. So that's one. Control C. Control V. Do you do this just to spite uh, Tony? No. no, it's a useful spell. Tony, know, Tony just uh, Tony uh, just needs to start having a slew of tokens of all animal types ready to go. <laughs> uh, we're gonna are... figure out one that he just doesn't have. I'm just gonna throw sharks out every time. Yay! <laughs> Sky you shark. can just pretend. You know. Fuck it. Sharks. They're all sharks now. They're sky sharks. They're ground sharks. They're night sharks. They're, I don't know, everything else. Well, are we the recent uh, expansion of Magic the Gathering? <laughs> all right. So you should have control of them. I do. And that's good. Uh, go ahead and... <sighs> yes, Chewie? <laughs> <laughs> Kate Chewbacca. That was, that was Wookie for roll initiative. For <laughs> I didn't know Wookies played D and D. They do now. So they got an eight. All right. Uh, Did they go before or after Ricardo? We'll turn. find out. I'd say after, but whatever. Yep. Uh, I'm going to. Because the numbers aren't going to get screwed up, I'm going to hit descending again and um, skip all the way to V. Go from there. Grandius, what are you sending me? Um, but specifically, uh, what I just said to Rakala. There are. Oh, what? There are uh, what? Oh, God. Shark. Wait, wait, wait. Why are there so many fucking sharks? These gods don't help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. God. Shark. Shark. So many fucking sharks. Please, someone help. That's yeah. not even talking about space bam, gods, though. Bam, bam, Dude, bam, the, the, the shark typhoon go uh, card, I really want to make use of. I don't know, I just want Space Godzilla. Because okay. it's, the no. it's not like something else, it's just Space Godzilla. The one who is you almost a, called... You a multi-attack on this? Beak and Talon, I think? Yes. 
So go ahead and make your um, attack. It's not their turn yet. Oh, um, movement. Do you have want to? I have moved. Um, okay. All I have is a bonus action, and, and and that's not something you wish to do. Okay, so yep. Number harpy, where are you? Number you harpy. Are there, you are going to Zyra. Oh no. Because Zyra is better looking than the harpy, and she's jealous. <laughs> so <laughs> you know. Want a makeover? I can give you a makeover. I hate makeup. Hits you with a <laughs> double attack. Do they speak? They have human faces. That is a mess. Language is common, so yep. And apparently huh? this one, this one hates makeup. So <laughs> uh, I missed with both attacks. I rolled an eleven and a twelve. So now you have the boys. Whoa. Did that roll over two? Did that roll over? Did that roll it over? It skipped one first? bird. Yeah, my mouse double click. I need a new mouse. I mean. I My mouse double clicks on a single click. It's it's old. I don't know. It'll, it'll be fine. Um, so they're going to. We okay. both go at the same time anyway, technically. I don't know why I put them both in there, but anyway, meh. Oh, uh, oh yeah, that's uh, right. I also have a falcon that's flying around somewhere. Uh, you do have a falcon flying around somewhere. Damn it. I think I already had that oh, token. Right, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm fine. He's just, like, on my shoulder or something. You know what? You know what, you know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? There. Copy oh, a bird. Smaller bird. <laughs> I like it. Amazing. And we're going to do this. And we're going to controlled by... Uh, not Ornan. Controlled by... Who the fuck? Oh. Victor. And me. And I'm going to say... And show that. And I'll do the numbers later. So there we go. Falcon probably only has one. But no, there. it has like several because the Falcons are squishy, but you decided it wasn't gonna be squishy. No, I have the statistics if you want. Um, we'll do it later. Right now, it's, it's a bird thing because I yep. forgot F A L C O N. But anyway, off Does subject, it... real quick, I was asked jokingly, by the way, uh, Mr. Ricallo, 13, by the way, is a uh, is a hit. Okay. So that's the beak. I'm going to roll all the attacks for both birds and then figure out damage. Yep. Okay. So, so only, the, only beak the 13 hits. hit. Okay. Um, I'm just going to take the, the damage and say it does six piercing damage to that harpy. Okay. We will take six piercing damage. Off of that heart. I was asked jokingly if I had to wait all the way to my birthday for um, the uh, bar stuff. <laughs> so, we were talking about it last night because she wanted some non alcoholic wine. Yeah. And I forget the kind she wanted. Uh, sangrian? Uh, sangria, yeah. Sangria. And sangria we can't not find not it all. here. So I said, it's all right, I'll mix you a drink. And uh, obviously I didn't because she didn't want to have any alcohol. Right. Uh, but I said, oh, wait, I can't yet. I don't have the stuff. And she said, yeah, are you waiting till your birthday for that? I said, I don't even know if he's actually getting it for me. It was a joke. No, 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 I, 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 I'd bring it up. No, I, I, I was actually looking at uh, a, a set of uh, bar stuff, uh, muddler and everything right now. Uh, on, on the online uh, while you're just in the battle. It is your turn, by the way. Okay. Um, and you are still well within. Is there yeah, anything I, that's so cute? No, I, I was, uh, 
I was working on the range stuff uh, to figure out uh, what I can't remember my movement speed. Your movement speed should be right on. It should be thirty feet. Right, but it wasn't on my character sheet for some reason. Really? Also, I could have sworn my uh, my my initiative was a two, not a one. You, your, your initiative. Sure, when you do the turn order, it does it automatically. Your initiative should be your dexterity bonus. Right. No, no, no. I, I mean, I mean, like the roll. No, 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 not not the roll. I mean oh. my, I mean my initiative thing in in my character sheet. I could have sworn it was a two, but it's coming up here as one, and there's nothing in the speed. It's really, really weird. Um, but anyway, um, your initiative on your character sheet should match your dexterity modifier. Right. I, I just I, I could have sworn it was a uh, it was a two, not a one, but it, it's coming up as a one now. Uh, in any case, one because your dexterity is a one at twelve. Well, if it was a two before, then it was wrong for some reason. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. It, it, it's just a curiosity. I, Your I, speed is on here for me. Yeah, I just added it. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know. Uh, Roll twenty has been and I, I'm trying to figure out. This is something I wanted to talk about today before the game. I'm so sorry. I do need to break this because this is important. Um, for those of you who don't have tabletop simulator. You can play on my account. You don't have to pay for it. I want to move the tabletop simulator because my options are more. I can play with dungeon tiles. I can make dynamic maps. I can do all kinds of stuff with tabletop simulator. And I have more tokens that I don't have to find pictures for. I just have to take it out of the bag. So I get more options as a DM. And here's the cool part: each station comes with a tablet, and that tablet has a Google search on it. So you can quite literally be Google searching on a tablet on Tabletop Simulator. I have to learn how to use it. Once I learn how to use it and be able to teach it, Grandius and 1092, I believe, are both first. But I don't know if they're first in the DD um, part of it. DD is a little more. Oh, okay. okay. Pardon me. Um, but back to your turn. I just wanted to let people know that for Robert, um, Ron here's a 1092 step guide, um, you guys don't have to download it for yourself. You can play off my account. Because it is remote play. Yes, remote play. It just gives me more options than this. Then I can stop paying for this and and have more options. Get on blueberries like cats. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I can't quite get to these on that. That picture yeah. is happen. But I can get to it um, That's 45. Right. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at moving to here instead and only getting two instead of three. Well, I mean, uh, think about it. I mean, it depends on, oh, what are you trying to do? Lightning bolt. It's 100 feet in a straight line. So I was looking at going from here out to here. This is and your 30 foot. Straight. Right, this which is, is your why, radius. right, which is why I was changing where I was going, and I'm only going to get two of them instead of three. Anyways, uh, I'm concerned my eagle might be in that line. No, don't worry about it. Uh, so instead, I am going to move to here. Uh, and I believe that's right. I'm going to double check my location real quick. Okay. Yep. Uh, that, that that catches both of them in a straight line. Yeah. It also catches the eagle. Look at it. It's <gasps> it's Tony, 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 no, it doesn't. Uh, my uh, 
my my ability for being the class of the wizard. You can choose. Yep. I create I create pockets of safety for up to uh, four uh, creatures. Your point is proven, Ten Ninety Six. So I am going to roll for a lightning bolt and hitting uh, both of those RPs. Yep, go right ahead. Sorry about that, I did forget about your abilities. Yep, that's fine. Um, so that's going to be a con save from you. Yep. Why are you hitting Tony? Not that. Good. Con save for Tony. Tony, roll a con. Oh! <laughs> he needed half damage. That uh, luck. My constitution, my constitution isn't that great. The RP is worse. Oh wait, uh, it, yeah, it's a twelve and an eight because my my mouse double click. Still both fail. Yeah, it's a twelve and an eight. Wait, it, it's a con save for lightning bolt. Yep. Yep. What's this spell? Uh, wait. wait. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, yes. Sorry. Sorry. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I just pulled it up. Oh, dexterity. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta fix that. Um, if you wanna I'm apply rolling that. Again. Well, I, I was gonna say it's the, uh, uh, apply the added numbers and take the original roll for it. There is no added number. It's a plus one anyway. So okay, so we can just use those numbers. Because it's the same. Model. I'm gonna re-roll. I saw the face you gave me. What spell is this that you cast? When you Lightning quit? bolt. Lightning bolt. I take half damage right. on a. On a um... But I messed up on uh, my macro, so I'll have to change that later. Okay. So even though I rolled a natural sure. twenty to get a twenty-one, I believe they take half right. damage, right? Yes, on a save, uh, they take half damage. Right. So go ahead and roll damage. One took one it's right on the face. It's okay. already rolled. 20? Okay. So half I damage have... is 10. I have a different number. What I'm do you like... mean? I'm looking at the spell lightning bolt. Uh, oh, that's why. So I, I, I hooked my, hang on a second. Um, yeah, I hooked my macro to Thunderstep and it's, uh, it reads the lightning bolt. Um, give me a minute. I'll go into my spells and cast it from there. It's just 8d6. Yeah, no, no, I'm, okay. I'm working on it right now. Uh, there we go. 32, and, and, and with the same DC save and everything. Right, so 32 have, I'll, I'll have to fix my macro. 16. So, okay. Um, like there we go. That one dies, and that one 32. <laughs> and, 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 and then suddenly lightning. <laughs> Didn't uh, like it very much at all. So yeah, Rakala, what happens is you concentrate and uh, lightning flies from a part of your body of your choice. and uh, Or not his somehow, choice. Be careful. Um, somehow it seems to kind of, as lightning does, it zigzags around the uh, eagle because of your ability. And then smacks both of these guys pretty much square in the face. Um, one of them manages to shake it off, but not by much. He's definitely charred. Um, and the other one is just dinner. <laughs> 1092 with his uh, weapon in the air. Um, what the hell just happened? If you like to eat humanoid flesh, that is. Uh, I, I got my macro fixed. Awesome. Uh, you moved, you did your action, you still have a bonus action. Yep, uh, but I don't have much I can do with my bonus action unless okay. you can. You don't have any bonus action spells or any shit like that? No. Okay, I want those. Grumpiness, you have one in your face and it is very much hurt by a zap of lightning, which you are on sand. 
So that zap of lightning, when it hit both harpies, there's some beads of glass around the, the feet of the harpies, and it, it kind of spreads in like a five-foot radius around both of them. Um, you definitely felt a spark yourself, but it didn't hurt you. It's kind of like just a jolt, and 1092, you also felt a bit of a jolt. And yeah, actually, and should I watch out as I am metal? Talo. You're in the desert. This is sand. There's a lot of sand that gets blown around, even though you're on the cliff face. Roll me a D4. Okay. And uh, nothing added. This is extra damage because of the... It's a one. It's a one. Okay. <laughs> so this, this one still dies. It dies a little more. Um, and this one takes an extra point of damage for having light in a desert. <clears throat> yeah, basically just because of the, the, the kind of the static electricity going from being sandblasted all the time, it, it took a little bit of extra damage. Um, Ornan. And remember yes. that uh, if you do it again, there's going to be an extra D4 okay. to the damage on it, just in the desert. Uh, Ornan. It's Grundy's turn, right? Oh yeah, Grandius. I'm sorry. I I. Uh... I kind of just said skip. <laughs> sorry, I was very raspberry skin. Right. So there's a happy in front of me, eh? A happy. Happy. There's a happy in front of me. Eh? Of me, eh? a front of me eh? with a pistol. Bam. I've got a mace out at the moment. Well. Uh... Yeah, the mace works. The point blank shot would work too, but you'd get an opportunity attack. Or cause wounds. <laughs> cause wounds. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Attack, attack doesn't incur an opportunity attack. Opportunity attack. Oculus attack. Um. Are you going to do a mace in his face? Uh. Yep. No. no <laughs> okay. Nope. That that that's a solid no. Uh, if the uh, if the spell is a bonus action, does it still get a hit on me? Yes. Fuck it. I'll summon the spiritual weapon. The frying pan of doom. Where is that fry? Oh yeah. Everyone's favorite spiritual weapon. Where are you gonna put it? Uh, let me let me give you control. Told by and I really do appreciate the frying pan that he uses. I know. <laughs> I, I, I still think it needs to be a cast iron to make it more accurate to I the will, time. I will find Iron picture, but for now, don't think they uh, had Teflon. <laughs> just find one that was used in the movie um, Tangled. Yes, right? I bet, I, bet dwarves oh, make I actually think of that every single time he pulls that thing out, too. Uh, this is by far the weirdest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Bonus action. I oh, that's right. You attack with the bonus action. Yeah, I saw it a little bit and attack it with this in bonus. Attack with it yep. as the same bonus action. Yep. It's also where you can move and attack at the same from the same bonus action after summon. Bam. So it, so it goes to try and attack me, and I just want the pan to just summon in its face, and it just smacks its face right in, leaving a dent, cartoon style. Cartoon style harpy face dent in the frying pan. Or frying pan dent in the harpy meaning. Yep. <laughs> uh, so, Ornan. Okay, I'm going to step back 30 feet. Right. And using some of my freshly uh, created sorcerer point, sorcerer spell slots, I'm going to cast a level one uh, magic missile at each of the remaining harpies. And as I cast it, 
my eyes narrow. I get really angry. Yeah, you will not hurt on its friend. <laughs> Go ahead and roll damage because magic missile auto hit. Three. Two. You must die. I alone am best. <laughs> and okay, Yoda. I was going to say, you sound very Yoda-ish. Yoda quote, but that works. That was actually from the Bloodhound Gang. You must die. I oh. alone am best. Yeah, but they got it for something from something else. Anyway. Wait. A harpy was supposed to go. Did it double-click again? <laughs> okay. Harpy over here is going to attack this bird. Multi attack plus three. That's a hit. I don't know. The 14 is also a hit. So I hit. Holy crap. Um, six and three. So nine damage to uh, this bird right here. And that is that harpy's turn. It is the 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 top of the round. Ah. So that'd be Zyra. It'd be Zyra, but for some reason it keeps skipping. Yeah, it keeps skipping because it's a it's it's a bitch. Okay, <laughs> All right. Oh, let's see. I'm going to hit the one that's right directly in front of me. That would be a good idea. Yeah. Um, let's see if i got if anything. If you range spell, it will get an attack of opportunity on you. Remember that. Yeah, I know. I'm going to look and see if i got anything that's close range. Um, I'm so used to shooting my bow, I don't know what else to do. Five foot on. range or touch. Hold on. Hold on. I haven't used any melee spells, so I don't even know if I have any. Um... Do you have a weapon? I do. I'm just looking to see what else I have on me for spells. Um, okay, most of my stuff is, like, helpful stuff. So let's, um... God, I haven't used this in forever. God, that's horrible. <laughs> a whiff. <laughs> a rubber lifter returns. Oh, good God. Oh, Dev, you did... did say that you haven't used it in forever. Yeah, apparently I need to practice more. <laughs> out, of, uh, out of practice, Zyra just whipped. Yeah, I'm going to stick to my well, bow. No, with the rubber rapier of doom, it can always deflect a shot but never hit it. All right, yeah. and I can't I can't move because that will give attack opportunity. Dev, did you yep. use your bardic inspiration? I didn't notice. I actually forget what it does. Um, so you can no add it to an attack roll or an ability check. You are the through. one that helped me set it up and you forgot what it does. <laughs> he doesn't right. run not, character. I'm not the bard. I just All right, helped you well, set it up. At level I'm... 6, it's a D8 or okay. a D10? D8. Uh, I think. I'd have to look it up. D8. We went over this last time. I'm pretty sure it's a D8. Yeah. It's a D8. Yep. So 1092. I... I I yell to Ricalo, will you remember your gift? <laughs> I'm going to run up next to Zyra, give my, help! Uh, I'm going to give a swing and attack with the wind. I'm like, I'm looking at everybody, help! <laughs> I'm going to activate the wind attack with knockback by dropping your, your, um. No, it's upon hit. It's upon hit. It, 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 uh... Oh, that's right. I'm a ranged fighter, guys. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> I'm scared. 16 is a hit. Go ahead and roll. 20. Okay. And it gets knocked back. And uh, are you going to bonus action anything? Uh, well, I can't get over to it because I only have five feet of distance. So 
So I'm going to do something really, really dumb. I'm And I'm just going to throw them all straight at it. Okay. When you this throw is it, gonna be a thrown weapon attack, so you're gonna have to use your dexterity, not your strength. All right. Uh, oh man, such a such a problem for specifically him. So that would be still just that would just be a straight twenty plus dex, or would dex. that be your dexterity uh, modifier? Yep. Okay, so it's the twenty plus dex. Uh, which is a two seven. 14. Come on, where are you? There you are. 14 is a hit. Mm -hmm. uh, and would that still be the weapon damage, or what would that be for damage? Weapon damage plus dex. Weapon damage plus dex. Be clear, dex modifier. Yep. What did, whoa, what just happened there? That is not right. That's a new one. <laughs> there he heals it. How the hell did you roll a DF? Because I went to, I went to go hit advanced dice roller for some reason. It just did that. Oh, I don't know what the hell a DF is. Okay, in 1092, you can't just create your own dice. That is I'm sure there's a fudge. Maybe it's the fudge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's fudge dice roller. Yes, but there, I, I roll a 12 for the damage. So I, I knock it back and then just throw the then throw the mall right at it, hitting it square in the chest. The mall is now land, landed over here. It's going to take a bonus action for you to pick it up. Mm -hmm. The square root of the number rolled is I. <laughs> <laughs> I and I alone. You all right, Zara? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Just a little Make scared. Sure. Okay, <laughs> I don't like good. I don't Make like sure. my enemies to get that close to me. <laughs> the RP is going to, to attack go. the bird. I need to go get that weapon now. Double attack. Nothing. I don't think. No. And Victor. <laughs> I'm going to cast uh, Produce Flame, targeting that harpy. Okay. You are producing flame on the harpy. No, normally the herpes are the one producing the burn. I missed no, the harpy. Nothing? I, I was giggling and waving my hand in a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I switch my attack to aim at Ricalo? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this harpy is going to fly uh, back. I was going to move. After this I harpy is going to pick up the maul with its talon. Oh, that's not good. Fly up over Zyra's head and drop it. <laughs> so this is going to be oh. a improvised weapon attack. Oh god. It's not gonna get a modifier <laughs> because it's not proficient. Can I try it's to a, dodge? It's Cla a straight Cla D twenty roll. Nope. It's Damn. a straight D twenty wool. <laughs> Keep in mind, some of your natural AC is the ability to move out of the way. Yes. Nor it, normally, the anvil is dr being dropped on the bird, not by the bird, but okay. Strong so fucking bird, up. Jesus. Oh, that's a new one. This! Team, it misses. I dodged that then, shit. Um, because it gets a second attack, it's going to swoop down and do a talent attack and badly miss. Yes! Crit! Crit! She crashes into Please something. Please let it hit the anvil. Uh, she crashes the anvil. into Just something. Go and dive and hit the mall. in front of you. Oh, weapon delivery again. Ten ninety two. Help! <laughs> a prone in front of you gives uh, you and ten ninety two or whoever hits it um, advantage on the attack until its next turn. 
Help. I'm going to get rid of one of these bird things. She's back. <laughs> it, just, so, it just face flat into the dirt. Thanks for the mall. It is now both birds turn. Okay. Uh, the one I moved so that one of them has advantage on their attacks against the harpy by me. Uh, yes, this one would have advantage. This one does not because the horse does not count. Right. So I'm rolling for the one by me right now, so I'll roll each one twice. Yep. And then... Ornan immediately sends the idea to um, Grandius tele telepathically. Nope, can't. Victor telepathically uh, that we need a war horse that actually attacks things. Okay. <laughs> okay, so he does um, a total of 16 damage to that one. Good, good. And, and yep. do both of those hit? Um, hang on, where am I? 14, 18, 15. Just the last two. Oh, 18, 15? Uh, yep. Yes, both of them hit. Okay, so that's 16 damage to that one as well. Awesome. Stop. Double clicking. Uh, is it 18? No, 16. Uh, 16, okay. And some of it's piercing and some of it's slashing, if that makes a difference. Uh, no, well, I mean, it's dead. So, yeah, it kind of makes a difference to it, but not much of it. <laughs> the replicants missed the bus. Who missed the bus? Replicants? What bus? <laughs> Somebody got caught. Ricallo. Yeah. Oh, it's I your didn't... turn. <laughs> and um, you got caught. That's been kind of funny how that happened. Don't Since forget... the bird killed it, I'm also going to have it move. Don't forget to use Bardic Inspiration. Can't talk. Oh my god. Inspiration? <laughs> inspiration. <laughs> inspiration. If, if, I, if I make an attack roll or an ability check, I, I will make sure to use it. You have um, to declare it before you make the roll, though. I think you do. Right, but I need to make an attack roll. Just make sure you let um, it. No, you don't. You don't have you, to. You use you the don't, I don't think you have to declare it before you make the roll. Oh, I thought you had to. But, but it, it is. It, it might say in the oh, rules that you have to, but I'll be honest with you, nobody ever does. Okay, so but, DM uh, says you don't have to. And say but, it before the DM makes his decision. Right. But it, is, yeah. but it is for an attack roll or an ability check. Or right? saving right. throw, yeah. Yeah. Or, or saving the throw. Three. So basically... You couldn't add the inspiration if I was to make a dexterity save. Right, that that's what I was uh, checking. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I couldn't use it to bump my uh, spell save DC or something like that. No, no. that would be cutting words. You no, that'd be there. great. No. <laughs> um, cutting words is a great spell. Uh, ability. Right. I, I love it so much. It's just like, ha, I did a real good. No, you didn't. So I am going to. That's a really weird thing to do. <laughs> I am gonna use a uh, magic missile and uh, use it at level three. I'm gonna drop that and uh, blast out three, five missiles, and uh, the. I'm gonna say which ones before I actually do it. I'm gonna send the first three over to the one on the left up here, up top, and I'll send the last two down below. The, the, I, I, I forget. I was yeah, that one down there. Okay. Um, so, so I did it. The first did it. two up here. Yep. Uh, the the first three up top, the last two down bottom. Um, right. So one, two, three, four, five. That's a lot of twos. 
And three. So eight to the top one and seven to the bottom. Okay, the one up top is looking really, really, really hurt. The one on bottom, it did. Yay. Yeah. Free weapon, deli uh, weapon delivery, and then it's dead. Wait, there's a there's an alive one? I don't even see one that doesn't have an extra. Yeah, it's your turn. North yeah. of Victor. You. Jazz, the right there. I'm pinging it now. Oh, okay. I couldn't see it. The, the friggin' eagle was taking my attention away from it. <laughs> Out of the horse sight so I can actually see. Well, click on it. And Why are you not working? Okay, I can't click on the measuring tool. Anyway, go ahead uh, and do what you're going to do. Uh, Tony, what did you uh, uh, I, to... <laughs> I don't want What What did you need measured, Tony? Nothing. I was going to measure the distance between the pan and the harpy. It's not... Uh... I can't make it. Right, there. you can only measure. You can only move it thirty feet. Uh, I just want to know. Let's, let's thank Is that a? Could I do that in a bonus action and action, or? Would that be more no. Of a... Um, you want to spend your action to move the spiritual weapon closer? No, I didn't want to move it at all. Oh. What are you trying to do? Uh, pull, the, uh, pull the gun out and use it. Yeah, dropping a weapon and picking out another one is a bonus action. Okay. Um, you just have to drop the weapon. If you are going to put your sword away and then take out the gun, that's an action. Well, I, but, it's just a mace. I don't even need it half the time. Right, so you just drop the mace onto the ground and pull out the gun... That's a that's a, a bonus action. Just make sure to pick up the mace after the fight. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll fire the <laughs> out the gun. Me being a nice DM, I wouldn't make you say it. Although sometimes I do. Anyway, go ahead and gun with the boom boom. <laughs> it's just Dex because I'm not proficient with it. Right. How many times have you used it? Uh, I've used it twice, and I've been playing with it throughout the week, or however long it took us to get here. Okay. Is this the it's same the gun that N92 times. had? This is the pistol that I bought. This is the one that ended the dragon's life. Oh, excuse me. And nearly deafened everybody in the cabin. Of course. <laughs> But he learned that based on the book that I gave him that I used. Oh, no. there it is. Upon uh, seeing Grandius draw the uh, draw the gun, I cover my ears. Any damage on that? Um, I believe it's a D12. <clears throat> you guys should have all this information. It's a D10. Pistol, equipment, <clears throat> D10 piercing. Is that plus dex? Duh. Yes, because all damage is plus whatever ability you use. Seven. Well, I'd say hey back to whoever that was, but I don't know who it was. And Kabuski, that's the last Harpski. Harp. So you are out of combat. 
I'm gonna pick up my mace now. Right. Pick up my my ball and put it back on my back. Uh, when you pick it up, you get the sense that it didn't appreciate being thrown, but good tactic. Um, sorry. You seem to Zyra, because uh, and maybe Ornan, um, see ten ninety two apologize to his weapon. <laughs> it, it it didn't like that. I don't, I don't know how it just it didn't like that. Mercalo, upon hearing this, you yep. have a history with magic, so you also have a history with. Uh, knowing the difference between a magic weapon and a, a sentient. sentient weapon. Yep. Um, so 1092 is making strange comments about his mall. Just keep that in mind. Yep. Now also remember that his mall is Order of the Hammer. So just with everybody knowing what Order of the Hammer is, there is a very slim chance that this is um, uh, uh, evil. But it's still being talked about as if it has feeling. Wait, hold on. Hold, 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 hold on a moment. Right. I potentially have an evil weapon. That's not terrifying. No, no, not at all. Well, like I said, knowing the order of the hammer, the way that the whole group does, um, just through hearing about them in travel and 1092 and and all of that, there is a very slim chance that it would be um, evil. <clears throat> However, it's just one of those things that sentient weapons make the hair on wizards' necks raise. Oh yeah, 